Hello, I'm Daniel Wolfert. I live off-grid in northern Arizona, and this is my series on off-grid ingenuity. In today's episode of Off-Grid Ingenuity, we're going to talk about solar panels and an interesting little trick that I found. First thing I want you to notice is that these are what are called suitcase, suitcase solar panels, and they are portable. And they all have their own built-in charge controller, which we'll see in a moment. But first of all, let me describe how these uh, suitcase solar panels work. You can see like right down the middle here, there is a hinge and they can actually be folded up. And because they have their own charge controller, they are connected directly to your battery supply. What makes that nice is that if you, if you use multiple suitcase solar panels such as this, if you need to move a solar panel, like let's say you weren't going to go on vacation for a while and you want to take a solar panel with you, uh, you can just go ahead and remove one from your array and take that panel with you. If you're doing some work on a remote part of your property and you want to rig up a little solar power supply, you can just remove a, a solar panel very easily. Which is another reason why I like mounting them on my water tanks is because it allows me to be able to use them in a modular way. Let's go look at the charge controller. Here you can see that each of these suitcase solar panels comes with its own built-in charge controller. Not only does that keep you from having to do a bunch of wiring if you don't know a lot about wiring up things electrically, and because you have multiple solar panels with multiple charge controllers connected to multiple places in your battery bank, your batteries are going to recharge quicker and you're going to have more voltage available. Notice also that I am drawing off of the middle. You can see the wires going into my cabin there. I'm drawing off the middle of the battery bank and I'm recharging from both ends. As you can probably tell, I'm a pretty big fan of the suitcase solar panel. The first reason is, is because it allows you to build your solar setup as you go. They're very modular and movable. For instance, one of the things that I do is I have one solar panel that is very easily detachable and I move that to face the sun in the morning to get my batteries recharged quicker from my night usage and then I turn it towards the setting sun in the evening to catch those couple of hours as the sun is going down. So this gives you a very low cost entry point if you want to generate your power by solar and honestly I cannot see why anyone would not want to do that. I've done the cost comparisons between solar and running a generator and there's just no comparison. A suitcase solar panel is a very easy setup and a very low cost entry point. Now getting started with uh, suitcase solar panels, I'm going to give you the minimum setup that I would have um, just to get things started. And one of the reasons why I think that you should actually begin with a minimum setup is because it will teach you to manage your power consumption. We're so used to living in homes where we just flip a switch and we have all the electricity we need. And then, of course, when it comes time to pay the bill, we are, we are retching in disbelief at how much it's going to cost us. Our next video is going to be about managing your power consumption. And we're going to go into more detail on how, with a very minimum solar setup, you can actually enjoy free energy from the sun and, uh, and get along very nicely. So let me talk about what I would recommend for a minimum solar setup for going off-grid. The first thing you're going to need is a solar panel, and if you get a suitcase solar panel with a built-in charge controller, you can pick those up for about $150 to $200. Then I would recommend at least two deep cycle batteries that are at least at 100 amp hours each, and you're going to be able to pick those up for about $200 to $300 for both of them. Uh, they should be around uh, $100 to $150 each. You're going to need an inverter. I recommend the pure sine wave inverter if you're going to be running your laptop or any other sensitive electronic equipment. It's just cleaner power. And they're not that expensive because you don't need necessarily need to have a huge inverter. Um, the inverter I started off with was 600 watts, and it ran my laptop computer. It basically ran everything that I needed to run. And uh, that cost me at the time $150. I see that they're now running around $100 at the, uh, at the time I'm recording this. Then you should also have a little meter so that you can be aware of where your battery voltage is. These things are very inexpensive, $20 to $25, and you're going to need some connection cables. I imagine you're going to need about $30 worth of connection cables. So all told, even at the maximum cost of these items, you're only spending $700. All right, that's to get off grid and to be generating free energy from the sun, to be enjoying every month 
at the end of the month when uh, you when you're counting up your money, you suddenly notice that you have much more money left over because you haven't been sending it off to uh, the electric company. Uh, it's just a wonderful feeling. But let's say that you want to ramp up your solar capacity and you want to have a modest system like mine. My system features 400 watts of solar panels and 1,000 amp hours of battery. I built that system for under $2,000. Um, all you have to do is educate yourself, go to YouTube, watch videos, um, educate yourself, talk to an electrician, and you will find out that for a modest fee, you can enjoy free, clean energy from the sun. Well, I hope you enjoyed my uh, look at off-grid ingenuity and solar power. And I hope that if you're looking into the living off-grid, or if you're already living off-grid, you found some useful information here. Thanks again for watching.